Alright, hi guys. I should really find my tripod, but I don't know where it is, so we're going to roll with this. Dane here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing the book reviewer tag. So this was created by a Read a Book Gem, and I believe Charles Heathcote, he tagged me, and I believe he was tagged in the original video as well, so this is officially like the, I guess, third generation. Uh, there are ten questions here, I'm going to go through and answer all the questions, and then I'm going to tag some people to take this at the end. So, question one. Where do you post your book reviews outside of booktube? For example, Goodreads, social media, retailers, blogs, etc. Really interesting question. Uh, I run a book blog called socialbookshelves.com. Not many people know that. Uh, it's actually got a bunch of like awards and accolades and stuff. It quite often ranks in like the top 10 uh, book blogs and literature blogs and stuff. Um, and I've had that since 2014. And um, I review every book that I read basically. And I've also gone back and reviewed all the books that I ever remember reading. Uh, and then I cross post those. I used to post them to Amazon as well, uh, but I don't anymore because screw Amazon. Except I do post them to Amazon if an author specifically asks me to, you know. Um, and I post them to Goodreads as well. And then occasionally I do video reviews for Booktube. But yeah, socialbookshelves.com or just my Goodreads. My Goodreads is just the same thing basically. Question number two, what is your star rating system? Okay, so I used to use a 10 star rating system and then I had to change basically to five stars because that's what all the retailers use and that's what Goodreads uses. Um, but that's why I quite often have half stars now because I used to use a, a star rating system. And on that system, my general rule was that seven was like a professional quality book. Um, and then because you get like fours and fives where it's like, well, the layout's terrible and they haven't done this and that. and um, yeah, it's changed really now. Now it's mostly just sort of gut feeling, really. <laughs> Question number three. Convince me to read a favourite book of yours in no more than five words. Uh, Northern Lights because armoured bears? Maybe. Uh, I'm getting a tattoo. I've booked in, so hang on, look. You see, I've got my wolf here. Uh, somewhere alongside here, either there uh, or possibly round here on the back. Um, I'm going to get a Panzer Bjorn. Um, so that's the armoured bears from Northern Lights, so they, he's going to go on my arm by Wolfie, probably, or I don't know, if there's no room for him, he'll go somewhere else, I'm sort of starting to run out of space on the top bits, look, I don't know, he could go here, depends how big he is, I don't really want to go over my dune, but he could go like that, like down there, around, like down by my elbow, I don't know, we'll see. Question four, which book was the hardest to review and why? Oh, um, it's always like... Any book by somebody who I like and who I respect, but I have to say that there's faults with the book. Um, like, say, for example, Todd the Librarian, and because um, I did enjoy his book, but there are, it does need professional layout. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's part of its charm in many ways, you know, but um, it's, it's never good when you have to... Or, like, another one was actually was... Oh, what was it called? It was by Mikey Campling. I think it was called The Darkening Stone, or it might have been book one in the Darkening Stone series. And uh, he was on, we were uh, due to be published by the same publisher, and I read it and I just didn't like it much. You're all right, Biggie. It just, it's more emotionally draining to post a review of, an, of a book by an author you know when you have to say bad things about it. But at the same time, I feel kind of honor bound to do so, you know? And also, it's always constructive criticism, especially with authors that you know. Like, I'd never read a book by an author I knew and just be like, this is terrible. I'd be like, this is terrible because... and try and give them some feedback, you know? Question number five. Are there any books you won't review or give a star rating to out of principle? Really interesting question. Um, yes, my own books or books that I've worked on. So, um, there's a few that I've ghostwritten that are up on like Goodreads and also all of my own books on Goodreads I just add them all to my red shelf but I don't give them a star rating or a, re a review other than that oh there's only one thing I ever read that I didn't give a review to and that was um it was a zine that I was given by someone and basically it was because the guy who made the zine was involved in a very serious probably still active legal case um, we're talking someone died basically and uh, so I couldn't review it because because she didn't want me to because of that basically question number six a book you really want to read has terrible reviews do you still read it yes obviously um, despite posting reviews I don't really go by reviews that much um, it's always nice I, in fact I don't even read reviews of the books that I write anymore really um, 
I mean, it's nice if you've got a high star rating for something, but it, it you know, it, it's not not the be all and end all. Question number seven: Where do you view book reviews outside of BookTube, and what is your preferred format? E.g., short, long, video print, etc. Probably almost all of them are on BookTube, and and then occasionally I'll read a Goodreads or an Amazon review. Um, actually, I will say probably other than BookTube, the place I consume the most reviews. You know, on the front of a book when it's like amazing a Times Literary Supplement. That's where I read most of my reviews. And I still don't really pay that much attention to them. Question number eight. At what point do you view reviews of a book you're reading before, during, or after? And do you seek out reviews similar to your own or opposing? Ooh. No, I've never even thought about seeking out reviews similar or opposing to my own, other than maybe, um, maybe one day I'll do one of those, you know, reacting to one-star reviews of my favourite books videos. Um, I don't know, let me know in the comments if you want to see that, I guess. Um, so I've never really sought them out, but, and, and also so, to answer the first part of this, uh, to, to answer the first part of this question, it's always after, um, even if it's a spoiler free review, I, I still would rather, you know, watch or read it afterwards. So I feel like I'm making my own opinion of the work when I do my own review. Um, but yeah, I quite often go back to videos that people have posted and watch their old reviews. Um, and yeah, I, and also that for me is a great uh, discovery tool. So quite often I subscribe to a lot of booktubers just because, um, you know, I see them in shout outs or whatever. And then I kind of wait until they review books that I've read and that I want to see their thoughts on, you know. Because um, I think that's just much more interesting to me. I'm, I don't know, I'm just always more interested in, in hearing people talk about books that I, I know. Question number nine. Which book have you read with the lowest rating on Goodreads that you loved? I don't know how you do that, and that kind of scuppers question number 10, which is which book have you read with the highest rating on Goodreads that you hated? Well, the highest rate on Goodreads that I hated is probably The Shadow of the Wind, isn't it? Because I hated The Shadow of the Wind and everyone loves it. So the answer to this is Texas Rattlesnake, the unauthorized biography of Stone Cold Steve Austin by Scott Edelman. I gave it a four out of five and the average rating is a 2.25 out of five. I suspect not many people have actually rated it. It's probably eight ratings. There we go. Okay, so that was my take on the book reviewer tag. I now need to tag some people to take this after me. So I'm going to do what I normally do, which is I go into my YouTube channel comments and I tag some people who recently commented. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to tag Native Lady Book Warrior. I'm going to tag Mindy's Book Journey, who has commented saying thanks for tagging me. I'm also going to tag Cats and Camera because she actually did a tag that I tagged her in recently. So I need to give her another tag so that she can forget about it. I'm going to tag Jason's Weird Reads and uh, Books of Blood will tag him as well. So there we have it. That's what I made of the book reviewer tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this tag. Let me know if you're going to do it as well. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.